So today's bit of fun is extreme controllers for the Vectrex. So plugged into the Vectrex, we have a little interface, which is attached to a plug, which is attached to a Star Wars yoke. And of course, if you've got a Star Wars yoke, a Vectrex and a Vec Fever, what do you do? You have Star Wars running. So let's see whether we can get it fired up. There we go. Trying to get the yoke and the screen in the shot and play the game. <laughs> it's a bit tricky. Who can save us? I found R2! Luke, trust me! <laughs> so, what else can we do? How about a little uh, tail gunner? So, maybe unsurprisingly, tail gunner works really nicely with this yoke. In fact, since the yoke has got two axis analog control and four separately wired buttons, we can pretty much play any Vectrex game. Uh, obviously some suit better than others, mind you. So Vectrex is now in its more traditional um, orientation. And let's see what else is uh so <laughs> it's Star Wars again, but not really. Yeah. Starhawk's really a digital game, but it uh, sort of works with the yoke. So Hyper Chase, I think, is an analog control. So that, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So, I really need, uh, <laughs> I need both my hands to be able to change the gears. But that's uh, quite fun. Position is also analog, and we'll have the same problem with the not having a grip on the second control. 
spot. for Jimmy Hunt so reverse analog stick for start Yeah. 